Right now, all across Yellowstone, pups are being born into wolf packs. Each one of those pups is going to have a coat color that's based on its parents' genetic profile. So let's take a look at the genetics that determine what color they'll have. Now, I've always found genetics to be uh, particularly hard to understand and remember. Uh, but fortunately, my neighbor Nathan is a geneticist, and so he came over and explained three times to me how this works, and I think I finally understand it well enough to explain it here. The cool thing is that while most of the wolf's genome hasn't been analyzed or sequenced yet, in 2009 some scientists did study it and discovered a gene variant that controls coat color, specifically whether wolves have a black coat or a gray coat. And what made it really uh, interesting and got a lot of press at the time was that they discovered that the, this gene variant for black coats comes from dogs that wolves um, apparently interbred with dogs and got this uh, gene variant for black coats. So these scientists call this gene variant the K locus. Every wolf has two copies of this gene, which using standard genetic terminology is indicated with a K. A small K means a gray coat and a big K means a black coat. And the way the, these gene variants combine is if the wolf has two small Ks, KK, then it has a gray coat. And that could really be anything from white to dark gray or brown. Those are all gray coats, um, as far as this gene knows. If wolf has one big K and one small K, then it has a black coat. That's because the big K is the dominant uh, variant. This combination also seems to give wolves extra resistance to disease, so that's a good thing to have. But if a wolf has two big Ks, it's KK, then it's black, but it's probably also dead because this combination is usually fatal before birth. So using this knowledge, we can accurately determine whether a pup will have a black coat or a gray coat. And uh, we use something called the Punnett square, that's a standard genetics tool, to determine that. So let's look at some Punnett squares. So here we have both parents are small k, small k, they have gray coats. Um, then all the pups will have gray coats. But if one parent has a gray coat, so small k, small k, and the other one has a black coat, so that's either big k, small k, or maybe big k, big k, but let's say big k, small k, because those are the ones that survive, then each pup has a 50% chance of being black coat, big K, little K, and a 50% chance of a gray coat, little K, little K. Now, if both parents have a black coat, and let's say they're big K, little K, then each pup has a 25% chance of being big K, big K, black, and probably dying in utero. It has a 50% chance of being big K, little K, which is black, and a 25% chance of being small K, small K, which is gray. So we're creating this genetics model in the game, this full thing. We're generating a genetic profile for each wolf that includes the K locus for coat color to determine if it's black or gray. And then there are probably other genes that control um, coat tint, um, as well as other physical things like um, speed, stamina, and strength. So we're gonna create a, a genetic profile that has genes for all those and then use the rules of genetics to determine what the pups are like, both their coat as well as their stats. So when your wolf meets a potential mate, you'll be able to learn a little bit about its genetics and you can decide if you think it's a good match. If you have a gray coat, that means you're little k, little k, then choosing a black wolf, which is probably big k, little k, well that, that gives your pups at least a 50% chance to be big k, little k, and thus have a higher disease resistance. But if you have a black coat, and again, probably your big K, little K, choosing another black wolf could give your pups a higher disease resistance, but there's a good chance, at least at 25% and higher, depending on the genetic profile of each wolf, there's a good chance that some pups will die before they're born. So this is gonna affect litter size. We're already planning to have um, a range of litter sizes, at least four, maybe up to seven or eight. We're gonna tune that during beta testing. And the risk of a big K, big K pup dying before birth will uh, be another factor that determines the size of the litter. So we're really excited to bring this aspect of wolf genetics, especially the K locus, um, to the game to make it more realistic and accurate and reflective of real wolf lives. Um, and also to give the players some interesting decisions to make when they're choosing their mate um, and thinking ahead to what kind of pups they want to have. Mm -hmm.